I'm sitting on a rock, combing my blue hair, and singing a song about sitting on a rock, combing my wet hair. Ahoy! Huh? Watch where you're blowing. Sorry about that, Patch. I'm sure Blowfish didn't mean to get you wet. No harm done, Sandy. But I can't see through my spyglass when it's wet. What are you looking for, Patch? Did you lose something? Not at all. I'm looking to find something. Treasure, that is. It's anyone's guess what lies beneath the sea. No need to guess. We can dive underwater and search for treasure for you. That would be great. Thank you. Blowfish, it's time to dive. <laughs> I can't see a thing. The water's mighty murky today. I'm looking through the wrong eye? Why, so I am, parrot. Look what Blowfish found, Patch. Isn't this a beautiful treasure? Aye, it's beautiful to be sure, but I've no use for it, I'm afraid. Then we'll just have to try again. Thanks for trying, but it's not exactly my kind of treasure. Okay, then we'll find something that is. Well, Patch, what do you think of this? This chest has possibilities. It's battered and broken. Think of the tales it has to tell. But I don't know what I'm going to do with all this other stuff, I'm sorry to say. Hmm. Then I guess we should put it back where we found it. What's that? It's just a rubber rain boot. I'll have to add it to my rubber rain boot collection. Well, I guess it's treasure to him. <laughs> I never could have found this fine boot without your help. In fact, to thank you, I'm going to make you both honorary pirates. Our Mitty. And since we're pirates, let's keep diving for treasure. <laughs> Perfect weather for tapping trees. Come on, Beaver. Let's get our tree tapping tools out of the shed. I won't be a minute. All righty, Beaver. Let's get to tapping. Let me guess, you were carving again. It's okay, Beaver. We can build another shed. All we have to do is cut down a tree, saw it into logs, and the shed will be up by supper time. Come on! This tree should give us plenty of wood for the shed. <gasps> Stop! Please don't cut down this tree forest. It's very special to me. What makes it so special, Blossom? Butterfly and I planted this tree. See? It was such a cute little seed. And we watched it as it grew. They grow up so fast, don't they? And now it stands so proud and tall, giving shelter and shade to all of us. Don't worry, Blossom. I won't hurt your tree. We'll just have to find another one, won't we, Beaver? I bet we'll find a tree for our shed around here, Beaver. 
That one's even better than the one we saw before. A little more warble bird and more bass in your hooting owl. Hi, Bee. You may want to back up so you don't get hit when I chop this tree down. What? But you can't possibly cut it down, Forrest. Why not? The birds and I were just in the middle of their singing lesson, and this is their favorite tree to sing in. <laughs> that does sound pretty. I sure don't want to cut down a tree that the birds like to sing in. Come on, Beaver. There are plenty of trees in the forest. This tree will give us plenty of wood for our shed. Wait! Don't do it! Are the trees talking now? Oh! Sorry, Peanut. Didn't see you up there. This just isn't our day for cutting trees. We might as well go home. I just don't know what I'm going to make the new shed out of. You sure are good with mud. I don't think we should use it as a tool shed. I'm giving it to you, Beaver, to use as an art studio. Ready to practice for the pet talent show, Owl? This is the letter A. Now you write it. Here, let me help you. A. B, we are so excited for your pet talent show. We sure are. Let's show her what we've been working on, Kitty. Hit it. Ta-da! <clears throat> wow, your cat is really good at dancing. Look what Elephant can do. Thanks. Zebra and I have been practicing his talent. Show them, Zebra. That's amazing. What's Owl going to do for the talent show, B? Oh, um, Owl is going to write. Show them, Owl. We have a little more practicing to do, but don't worry. Owl will be writing lots and lots at the pet talent show later for sure. Fantastic! We'll see you later. So long, B. Bye, Owl. We sure have a lot of work to do. Okay, Owl. Ready for the talent show? Me neither. We still haven't gotten you to write yet. Maybe we should go last. Welcome to La La Loopsyland's first ever pet talent show. Up first is a very talented sheep. Here's Polar Bear. Wow, that was great. Well, thanks everybody for coming to the show. Goodbye. But Owl hasn't gone yet. Yeah, we want to see Owl's talent. Uh, okay. But he still has some work to do on his act. Come on, Owl. And now my pet Owl will write the letter A. Maybe, or probably not. Look! What a great picture of B! I always knew you were super talented, Owl.
than ride in the range on a cattle roundup. Of course, there's not a whole lot of cattle to round up around here. <sighs> you know what you need, Prairie? A real horse and more cattle. Don't I know it? I can just see myself galloping along, shouting, get along, little froggy. Uh, I think it's doggy, not froggy. But if I'm herding cows, then why do they call them doggies? I don't know. And maybe I can ride something besides a horse, too. <sighs> Any luck finding something you can ride, Prairie? Nope. My cattle roundup's all washed up. If you want a horse you can ride, I'll make you one. Well, how'd you like it? Prettiest horse I ever did see. Let's try her out. Okay, Herd, move along now. Get along, little doggies. Those little doggies are getting along. I'm not. I see what you mean. I think this horse needs a few adjustments. Do hickey. Thing I'm a bobby. Watch him a doodle. We're all set and ready to roll. Thank you kindly, Ace. And maybe Monkey wants to join our herd. <laughs> Yeehaw! Okay, herd, move along now. Get along, little doggy. And zebra. And monkey. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa, uh. whoa. Horse me. Prairie, are you okay? Uh, nothing's broken, except my chances of ever hurting this herd. Unless. Yeehaw! Get along now. You can borrow some sugar to make marshmallows for your hot cocoa mittens. See you later. Bye. The button cookies are ready. They smell delicious. Uh-oh. Can you help me make room, Mouse? Okay. I will put these up here just for a moment. Let's see. I've made chocolate and strawberry cakes, prickly pear pancakes, lemonade donuts, birthday cakes. <sighs> I've baked everything under the sun, and I still don't know what dessert to bring to the super silly party. This is a big, important party celebrating what makes us all so special. I'm celebrating everything that's sweet, so I'll have to bring something extra special. That's it! If I'm going to celebrate everything that's sweet, I will just bring everything! <gasps> oh no! The sauces are boiling over! That was close. I almost got sauce on my dress. Huh? Oh no! My super silly party dress is ruined by all these pretty frosting swirls and silly confetti! Oh, Mouse, look at what you did! You made my dress even more scrumptious than it was before! Thank you! My dress could use even more confetti, but I'm all out. Hmm, who else would have more confetti that I could use? I know! Hello, Peanut. It's Crumbs. I was just wondering, do you have any confetti for my super silly party dress? What's that, Dalmatian? You smell smoke? You're right, let's go! Don't worry, 
Sorry, Barry. I'll save you. Nice to see you, Ember, but wouldn't it have been easier to come in through the door? No time for doors. I've got to protect you from the fire. What fire? But Dalmatian smelled smoke. We both did. Oh. oh, you must have smelled this toast I burned. And such a shame, too. It was my homemade apple corn bread. So there's no danger? Nope, but as long as you're here, how about I fix you both a nice hot breakfast? Mighty kind of you, Barry, but we should be on our way. Someone else might need saving. Uh-oh! Spot's about to fall into the giant hole! Stop, Spot! Hi, Ember. If you want to borrow my shoes, just say so. No, no. I'm trying to save you from falling into this great big hole. <laughs> Thanks for being worried about me, but there's really no danger. See? But how did you do that? I painted it. It's just a picture. <laughs> oh, well then, I guess we'll be on our way. Nice painting, by the way. Well, it's good no one needed saving, and we should probably get out of this heat anyway. Aww. That sounds like Blossom. Come on. This is terrible. What am I going to do? Blossom, what's wrong? These flowers are wilting and I'm all out of water. Looks like someone needs our help, finally. <coughs> we're on it. Okay, Dalmatian, we're ready to go. You saved the flowers. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without Dalmatian, and I think he deserves a hero's reward. Oh. 